so here we are the Asus C10PE so to update you guys the reason my computer build took as long as it did was because I was waiting on a new motherboard the Z10PE I had the Z10PA which was the model before this it was a server class motherboard and um, I bought it second hand off of eBay and unfortunately it had a couple of issues and in the end it resulted in not being able to use half of the RAM so some sort of RAM slot problem um, unless I stuck it in the first CPU which meant I didn't get optimum performance so I held off to buy the motherboard and bloody hell that thing was expensive 400 pounds for a motherboard actually the most expensive part in this entire build but here we are just to add to it I could not find a single case for this new motherboard, the Z10PE because unlike most motherboards it wasn't an ATX motherboard it was called an EBB no sorry, EEB motherboard which is a server standard which means that basically no desktop computers have that uh, motherboard layout so what I ended up having to do after buying my shiny case was get the drill and mutilate it luckily this case is adaptable enough that I was able to do that but um, unfortunately the motherboard was shorting on the case eek so I had to put a sort of back plane that's uh, what do you call it electrically isolated finally enough I just used sheets of A4 paper stuck down to um, stop any conductivity and that's done the trick now I haven't actually properly booted this computer with the con current configuration so you'll be experiencing it, at, experiencing it at the same time as me so here we go first thing I'm going to do is flip the power supply there we are and it boots up straight away there's the uh, awesome fan and now we turn to the monitor as we wait for something to happen now I think this motherboard has the same thing that the other motherboard is and that is it doesn't boot from the external graphics card straight away it actually boots from its internal graphics so let's see Yep, that's the case. Silly design thing with the Asus motherboards, unfortunately. Hey ho, nothing I can do about that. So here we go. The moment of truth. Beep, we have life. Now notice how the screen is blank, and that's because it's now switched to the other graphics card. So I will switch the cable back. And in theory, we should now have video. Oh, well, something's definitely not right there. Scary. Um, oh, oh, okay. So I think it just hasn't got used to this uh, graphics card. It's a BIOS fader. I might have to update the BIOS. I think that's the, what the problem is here. So anyway, we'll let it do its boot and see what happens. Um, no, what? Or remote boot image found. Okay, no, could still boot from the hard drive. We'll see. <laughs> Media test failure. Media test failure. Is it just going to go on a loop? I don't know. I'll get back to you after I've done some fiddling around. Bye bye.